So the most common type of cranial synostosis is called sagittal synostosis. And this is an example of that synostosis. So if you think about the normal growth of the brain, it's essentially inflating the skull like air inflates a balloon. In sagittal synostosis, the two bones on the top of the head are fused together prematurely. As a result, you get a ridge on the top, which the family will probably feel. But in addition, as that brain is growing and in essence inflating the skull, it grows in a front to back direction and not so much in a side to side direction, and you get a long, narrow skull. By doing an operation to release those two bones, we could correct that. There are multiple other forms of synostosis. Because there are five major bones separated by six sutures, any of them can fuse together. In this model here, we have what's called metopic synostosis, where the suture in the front fuses, and that leads to a triangular shape in the forehead. Not all cases in which this bone fuses is it abnormal and requires surgery, but when you get this triangularity, it does require an operation. Another example would be what we call unilateral coronal synostosis, where one of the bones in the front is fused to the other bone, leading to a ridge over that area, and this leads to asymmetry in the forehead, where you can see its forehead is prominent on one side, flat on the other side, and if you look at the face, you might notice that the eyes are not at the same height and the nose is slightly deviated towards the affected side. Some of the forms of synostosis we treat are fairly simple. But as you can see from this artificial plastic model, in this day and age, we're actually able to make very complex models of the skull to help us with surgical planning. We call this virtual surgical planning. It may be that when your child comes, we do perform a CAT scan so that we can develop one of these skull models and make a customized treatment plan. Generally, we wouldn't do this for the small operations in which we're just releasing a bone, but for the big operations when we have to reconstruct the skull, we're often going to use that virtual surgical plan.